Tory Lanez lawyers. Now check this out. First thing they do is say, put us in general pops. We want to be in all of the general pops. Second thing that happens is Tory Lanez, Supermax Prison, General Pop. So I just want to be clear on something. His lawyers, his new lawyers, are doing everything in the world to let y'all know that his old lawyers, the lawyers that got him convicted, were terrible. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, there is actually more than I knew currently going on with Tory Lanez. I wanted we we're gonna discuss that, but first and foremost, his lawyers is trying their darnness to get back into court so they can prove their client to be innocent. Okay. Now, okay, so there's some appeals that have been, just so we can be clear, there are some appeals that have been, uh, that Tory Lanez and his team are attempting to go for. So I just want to make sure that we lay everything down and I want to start with, uh, the the placement in the prison so i was busy thinking about this there's a lot of people when this initially happened i believe when tory lanes goes to prisons man it's gonna be bad forms babies they're gonna be all loving them these guts there's a lot of people that believe that i believe they thought that tory lanes was gonna have a really hard time if he gets convicted because there's going to be men in jail like you've been shooting women's in the feces and they're going to have a problem with him. But then I realized something, especially as the case went on. And I, I can't stress this enough. If they could have had different people reporting on what was happening in the courtroom, I really think our perspective of this would be better. I don't think we have really good perspective of what actually happened in the courtroom. I don't think that's necessarily what has been being reported to us, just so we could be clear. And I believe that if the court reporting was done differently is what I'll call it, that we'll have a better perspective of why he was found guilty. Because in retrospect, as we look back, all it looks like is that his own team didn't actually put up any effort to disprove the case of the prosecution. I don't even think the prosecution proved their case. And I think that this is why his new lawyers is just trying to get in the court. So what they're doing is they're trying to give and bring up any reason for them to be able to get in the court so they could discuss the ma the facts of the case, the matter, the matters of the case. That's what I believe they're attempting to do. Because if they can do this, one of the things that they might be able to do is get the verdict overturned. They're in the appeals court. That's what they're trying to do. Another thing that they might be able to do, which seems a lot more reasonable and probable, might pardon me, not reasonable, but probable is they might be able to get some of his time removed, whereas he won't have to serve 10 years now. It can be different amount of time. And just so we could be clear on this, that recent situation that happened with Fulio, when Fulio was shot in the foot, and he has a giant, oh, I think it leaves much to the imagination of how they can even say people 
or forensic evidence remember that the the prosecution they have everything at their disposal it's not like this they, you know we can't get that case done we ran out of money that didn't happen so they have everything at their disposal and for them to even go into a courtroom under the with the ink with the mindset that they're going to try to prove somebody that shot her in the foot when in reality it's kind of obvious that she didn't get shot in the foot this folio situation even brings that more to light so why am i saying this and saying why this has any um this has any uh indication of how he might be being treated inside of prison you know how many people in prison is like yo i'm innocent now think about how many people in prison are in prison and niggas could look at them and say, yo, that nigga innocent. You think that you think they, this dude really is people are more likely looking at him in jail as he is actually innocent rather than looking at him in jail as a oh, man. He did something to a woman and it doesn't help. It doesn't help. Well, it does help him, but it doesn't help the people who are mad at him. That the individual that is going around saying that she got shot in the foot seem to have so many, seem to be so angry towards men. And it's, it, we should be obvious to know that. I want to say something real quick. So what she uses is girl power. She doesn't use uh, like the strength of, uh, that we might see in a, no disrespect to Megan Thee Stallion, this is just a thing that I'm saying. She doesn't use the strength that we'll see in a clear Huxtable. She doesn't see use the strength that we'll see like in, uh, I'm saying, cause you know, she's part of the entertainment world. So I'm not trying to necessarily use a real known figure. I think it's more importantly to use somebody that is also in the entertainment world, if you could get my drift. So she doesn't use that type of power that type of energy you understand what i'm saying she uses more girl power and girl power needs for other females to want to be her you understand girl power needs that and girls want to be the female that men want if you get my drift In any regard, I don't think him going to general population is going to be harmful to him. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I don't really think there's going to be an issue. I'd be surprised. One, he still has money. Two, nine times out of ten, that man knows the Bible, fam. That might be what the most high is forcing him to do. And now you're going to have all the time in the world to look at his Bible and decide how he wants to live his life according to the words. That man knows the Bible. You do know who his father is, correct? I need for y'all to go follow his father's sun star. Uh, I forgot the whole, uh, I don't have it off the top of my head, but it's sun star. Put that in. You're going to find his pops. These guys, they know the Bible, fam. I wouldn't be surprised if that's something that he's doing while he's locked up in jail. I hope that is something that he's doing because he does know the Bible and that's why he was punished. You see, God punishes us when we know the word and we do the opposite. I already spoke with y'all numerous times where I think he brought this on himself. That's not for this conversation though. Moving on. Now with that all being said, uh, do I think he's going to get a reduction? I don't think so. Do I think that he's going to get um, some kind of, they're going to release him on some kind of bond or bail, whatever the hell? I don't think so. Um, he was convicted. There's no reason why they should let, let him go. There's no reason why they should let him out. Uh, his lawyers are going to argue that that uh, basically he's a known figure. He can't go anywhere and hide. It's going to be like, you seen that football player that thought that he could go to Mexico and hide out? Then when he found out they was coming to Mexico to get him, he booked the flight to like Colombia or some shit. <laughs> and they got him on a plane and they, they, they extradited him. In any regard, um, basically, that's what uh, Tory Lanez and his people were saying. 
He's too rich, pardon me, he's too famous and known to be able to go anywhere and hide. And on top of that, he has a familiar and a financial uh, situation here in the US. So it's not even to his best interest for him to try to skirt those. Like even if he goes to jail when he comes back out, these are the things that he's gonna be a part of. He wants to be in America. He's not trying to give up that right. So he's not trying to run. That's the point in the position it sounds like they're trying to take I don't think that that's gonna win them any arguments on this side. Remember, he's already been convicted. There's no reason why the government should say, you've been convicted of this thing that we, we think you did and it's nasties, but yeah, why not go outside? <laughs> Get some fresh air. I don't think that they're gonna do that. I don't think that that's part of their thinking in any regard. Um, put it down in the comment section. I wanna know what you guys think. Uh, one, do you think that he's having a hard time in jail? I don't think that he's having a part of me prison. I don't think that he's having such a hard time in prison, not any harder than anybody else. It might be lighter or less difficult than most people because people, I wouldn't be surprised, are looking at him like, bro, you innocent. Also, um, all they're trying to do is trying to get in front of a judge so they can argue the case. I do not at all believe that they're going to be able to get a bail or a bond or anything like that. I don't at all believe that they're going to be able to get it overturned. I don't think any of these things is going to happen. What I do think is that they're just doing every avenue on which they can to try to get this case jump started back up so they can be in charge of running the case or running the, uh, running the trial, trying to get him exonerated from these charges. Like, comment, subscribe, join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I get on this one. I'm out.